guys, it's Ellie and welcome to today's video. And today's video is a tad bit different than it usually is. Today is actually a Wednesday when I'm recording this, even though you are gonna be watching this on a Friday. I will be down or up in Northern Virginia spending some time with my boyfriend at a festival his church is putting on. And today I was originally gonna do an NaNoWriMo video, which I might pre-record and then put up for Monday. But today's video is a Target haul because for those of you who don't know, I effing love the month of October. Like, I tend to think that I'm not your typical basic white girl, but when it comes to be October in particular, I go all out. So in today's video, I'm doing a very tiny Target haul that I just got back from because I got a $25 Target gift card from my uncle for my birthday, which I hadn't used and I had ran out of my wonderful scented candle that I loved to death, it, it smelled so lovely. And I was gonna go, and I was gonna get another one, and then it turns out they had four ounce scented candles on sale for four dollars. I am the most basic white girl in the world right now. But I got a little bit more than that because obviously two four dollar scented candles does not equal 25, so I decided I would sit down and share with you what I got. So let's just start with the obvious here and go with the two candles. The first one I have here is orange clove and I wish you could smell it. It smells so phenomenal. And the next one is give thanks. I don't really know how to describe the scent of this particular candle, but it was better than any of the other ones that they had. The next thing I got was completely unnecessary, but I was walking through the store after I had picked out everything else, and I was thinking to myself, I have more money, I had seen this before I had even picked out my candles, and I really wanted it, and when I realized I had enough money for it, I went back for it. That is this completely unnecessary, but absolutely wonderful bat pillow. I have named him Batty Baddington after Hattie Haddington from Battle Block Theater because he is hilarious. I wish I had a top hat to give him. This next thing was not actually from the Target haul. I just happened to get this in a box, which I'll explain in a moment. But the reason why I'm doing this one first is because the last one is going to require me to redo my makeup just to show you guys. So that's why I'm gonna do that one last. So the next thing that I have is actually a gift from my father and I'll explain it in a moment. But that is Like Water for Chocolate, which is a book by Laura Es... I can't say her name. Her first name is Laura. She's a Spanish writer. This is a magical realism book that I'm actually reading for a class right now. And I loved so much, I asked my dad if there was a way that we could purchase the rental textbook that we had. And he said he didn't think so, and he went ahead and bought this for me, and I got home, checked to see if my parents had gotten any packages. There was one delivered to me. I thought it was a watch that I had ordered, but it's not, so this was just a lovely surprise to come home to. I will be doing a review of this book as soon as I finish it. On to the last thing from my Target haul specifically. My boyfriend is absolutely lovely and I love him to death, but he's not a huge fan of lipstick and I can understand why, but I recently discovered the joys of liquid matte lipstick thanks to Jeffree Star. <laughs> but I never wore lipstick at all. But my first year of college, I stopped wearing makeup pretty much entirely, went throughout high school and even some of middle school. I at least wore foundation, always wore mascara. It was just a thing that I did. I typically did eyeliner and eyeshadow as well, but I never wore anything on my lips. And now, as you can see, it's the exact opposite. Not much on my eyes, everything down here in the lips, and I'm not even wearing foundation. And so I started a small collection of liquid lipsticks the one I'm wearing right now, I took great joy in having because it matches my shirt perfectly. It's the shade Pretty Problematic from the Milani Amore Matte line, but I had previously purchased a blue liquid lipstick that was not matte from Maybelline. It was the Vivid Hot Lacquer Lip Line or whatever it's called, and it's trash. I hate it so much, and I'm gonna throw it away if this one works. So as I was going through Target, finding some of the stuff that I was looking at, I wanted to get another liquid lipstick, I knew that much, and I found this Rimmel London Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color. This one is Blue Iris. This is a matte liquid lipstick, and dark liquid lipsticks are typically harder to apply and less forgiving. So I'm gonna go take off my matte Milani liquid lipstick, and I'm just gonna scoot way up close to the camera here so you can kind of see it a little bit better, but holy crap. This was $5. For whatever reason, I have wanted a blue lipstick, particularly a matte liquid lipstick for a while, and this just 
totally blew all of my expectations out of the water. Baddington and I are gonna go because I have to practice a speech that's on Thursday. Again, you're watching this on a Friday, but I'm loving this blue. I'm just having so much fun with it. I will see you guys next time, and until then, peace out, guys, and get ready for October. Yeah. Ooh. Particularly...